Happy Hanukkah. Folks, it's Saturday night. Welcome aboard the Calamity Campaign B-side. Welcome aboard. Uh, Scott cannot be with us because apparently his 19th anniversary is way more important than us. So screw you, Scott. We don't care. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. Uh, if you want to pick up some cool stuff like a cell phone case or a t-shirt or duvet cover stuff like that skateboard uh, go to our sh- skateboard go to our shop uh it's down there somewhere uh most importantly if you want to be on the talk show on tuesday or the one shot a week from tonight m hobo inc twitter or gmail hit us up let us know already have two brand new murder hobos coming in next saturday so could be an all newbie show who knows uh we go all- yeah we'd also like to thank our sponsors Pirate Dog Dice for dice rolls that do not suck. And Adventure Sense when your game, not ours, stinks. Because Adventure Sense can make it all smell better. Uh, (laughs) Maybe not perform better, maybe not roll better, but it'll certainly make it stink a whole lot less. Folks, as I've said, this is the Calamity Campaign B-side. Let's go ahead and introduce you to the folks who are going to take up your next two hours we will start with Jesse because he's eating. He's <laughs> I know it's coming. I know it's coming. I know it's coming. <laughs> Hello. Um, Dave, grab a snack. I am Jesse. Uh, you can find me on the different social medias at JR Wooey. Um, and I am playing the uh, bright eyed, bush tailed Coda cleric of uh, Tempest cleric of. Uh, Cheskin, and uh, yeah, sounds good. Usually I play Azari, a Leon and Rager. What, uh, <laughs> what, what race are you playing tonight? Dwarf. Any dwarf. particular aspect about the dwarves in Calamity? Well, right, so the dwarves in Calamity, they have a uh, Australian accent, so he's from nice. down under. <laughs> he puts short, another shrimp right? on the box. It's because he's small and he lives under the dark, so... There you go. <laughs> Usually in mountain, sometimes hill sides, but today he's in a swamp. So he's going to Steve Irwin this fucker. Ah, nice. Speaking of Steve Irwin in this fucker, David, whose character <laughs> may or may not be alive. Uh, we have to roll on that. I mean, I think prior to the show, we discussed, uh, yeah, Crow's probably dead. <laughs> so, but uh, hi, I'm David. I play on this show and our other Thursday show, Cacophony. I play Zadar, the arcane trickster on that. Tonight, I will be playing Crow. Uh, he is uh, a rogue who, yeah, failed his death saves <laughs> last week. So, so we'll see how it goes this week. Uh, whether, I don't know, we'll... We'll see. I'm at the mercy of the DM, folks, but I'm prepared. <laughs> uh, next up is Rob. Rob, who are you? Who are you playing? Um, I'm Rob. You can find me on the social media things at Cthulhu Rob, and I play Dave on the Calamity A side campaign. And tonight I'm playing Brother Cup, Very cleric nice. of life. Yeah, uh, how'd that work for Crow? Uh, I forgot <laughs> I had a spell slot. Mm. Uh, I've got notes to remind me of how many spell slots I have. <laughs> uh, if I only had something in Oz. Uh, last but certainly not least, normally behind the screen. Tonight she is in front and behind the screen, our producer, Carrie. Carrie, who are you? Who are you playing? I'm Carrie. I usually play Camille and Cacophony. I'm still on puppy wrangling duty, if you can hear that. And tonight <laughs> I am playing uh, a human barbarian, Crendor, who isn't sure why she has to deal with all these short dwarves. Not a dwarf. Only one of them's a dwarf. So oh, yeah. okay. Uh, folks in their inaugural outtake, these guys, uh, Brother Cup, Crow, and Coda, are were all members, long-term members of Toad Town, uh, whereas Crendor and her people uh, were relatively West new plumbing. to the area. Uh, Crendor's people know plumbing, and in a swamp, that will help a lot. Uh, these guys banded together to learn certain life skills uh, from Crendor's people uh, before heading out because of unusual occurrences in Toad Town. 
Uh, it ended up with those three out on the riverbank fighting Grung uh, somewhat successfully, except in the case of Crow. Crow, excuse me. Uh, Crendor helped the people of Toad Town try and survive. At the end, uh, we went ahead and rolled percentile dice to see how many of Crendor's people survived and how many people uh, of the rest of Toad Town survived. Crendor uh, managed to spare a lot of her people while the maybe dead, maybe not dead crow uh, rolled to kill 81% <laughs> of the residents of Toad Town. Well done. Well done, sir. Uh, he also failed his death saves. Uh, however, his built-in character trait may allow him to be undead. Crow, are you ready to find out your fate? Yes, I am. Percentage um, percentage roll against me. Okay. Just get believes in you, mate. Come on. <laughs> oh, in you. you can make it back. You can come back one way or the other. Uh okay. 70. 47. Oh. You have survived the night. Oh, okay. Okay. I uh, uh all right. Courtesy of Brother Cup and Coda keeping a watchful eye over you while Crendor the Barbarian uh, guarded the entry points to the town. Uh, at first light, you took a deep breath, albeit uh, a weak one. Mm -hmm. So you have survived. As light dawns upon Toad Town, everybody, uh, you know there's a lot of dead bodies. <laughs> That's going to smell. Most of them are your friends and family. Uh, <laughs> Crendor, not so much. You only lost three people out of your tribe. Uh, the village elders, uh, the three, uh, or the village the elder, one three. of three survivors of the original Toad Town crow, uh, <laughs> decided uh, they need to make a large funeral pyre. Uh, and just stack the bodies like cordwood and set it on fire. Otherwise, they'll just create a dam in the river. Uh, Crendor and her people are happy <laughs> to assist. Uh, normally, you'd bury these guys in water, but, you know, uh, giant beavers could take the corpses and make some macabre uh, dam. Oh, uh, wow. We probably shouldn't have killed the crocodile. Probably not. They, they could have <laughs> ate him. It could have been like a garbage disposal. Mm -hmm. uh, Giant so, undead dam. Yeah. <laughs> so my question, Brains. Frank. My question, Frank, is Cro Crow's that? hit points. Is he going to take time to recover from that? Is it? How's that going to work? He's going to have to short rest it while the others do all the heavy lifting okay. or dragging, as the case may be. Uh, it's been decided that there will be two funeral pyres, one on either side of the river. Uh, you guys have crossed over the river quite successfully, except for Coda. Uh, he had his issues, but he finally figured it out. So you guys are going to go. Steve. You guys are going to go ahead and set fire to the bodies while Crow uh, relaxes, because that's the kind of dickhead he is also folks we are from mature <laughs> audiences so you know if you don't like the language uh please find another podcast uh we we hope you find one that you like there's uh, several out there <laughs> yeah. and if you don't give a shit yeah stay with us uh yeah. it might be fun yeah fuck it so uh crow you can take your short rest uh with your lamentations of oh my body hurts uh, yeah. <laughs> while Coda, Crendor, and Cup all do the work. Uh, after, go ahead. Oh, I have no idea how that happened to me. Although, if we play it back, it was Brother Cup that hit me with a mace. <laughs> so. It was Brother Cup that <laughs> crushed your skull with the mace. I it immediately all... cast Spare the Dying on you. <laughs> yeah, that worked. <laughs> uh, once you guys get everybody. Uh, flambéed, you can go check on Crow, who is still looking rather wimpy and could probably use a healing spell, or six of them, if you can. Uh, the village elder, one of three remaining Toad Town original residents, has banded together with Crendor's people, um, and they are going to stay. 
and rebuild Toad Town into a better, stronger, faster, bionic Toad Town. Uh, with plumbing? With plumbing, sewage, drainage, and possibly tile roof. Uh, no, 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 no. They have asked you to investigate the outer perimeter uh, to make sure that the threat is resolved. The village elder will give you two packets of sm foul smelling herbs that he says will heal you, although you aren't exactly sure if you can stomach it. Nice. <laughs> uh, does anybody want to heal Crow first? Go ahead, Brother Cup. You're going to heal him with your mighty mace again? No. Um, I, I will bring out Cheskin's bountiful bosom, present it before him, <laughs> make him stare at it, and give him ten hit points. The stare, at, stare at Cheskin's bountiful bosom. Okay. Now, folks, uh, last time these guys were first level. Tonight they start out at second level, uh, even though Crow nearly freaking died. Uh-huh. Uh, so everybody should be at second level. You now have 10 additional hit points, Crow. Do you feel like uh, consuming the herbs? I I will. <laughs> okay. Uh, as the village elder stands there, you pop it open, shake the foul-smelling herbs, and pop it into your mouth. Like Tic Tacs. <laughs> uh, you feel good, good, good vibrations. Uh, come over you. Nice. Uh, to the tune of nine hit points back. All right. Uh, as you pop them into your mouth, you notice the village elder go, ah! supposed to snort them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, Same thing, right? Uh, well, you probably would have gotten more hit points out of it. Uh, but you're uh, suggested. You're going to. <laughs> no, he's gonna taste you're, that all you're day. Gonna taste that all day. Uh, the village elders suggest that you guys head south, uh, as that is where the main body assault came from. Got it. Hey, can you... <clears throat> yeah, well, I was really hoping to just leave the village all together, but I guess we could check it out since nearly everybody died. Well, he, he didn't ask for updates. He just said to check to make sure that the uh, fight was over. All right, let's head south and just keep heading south till we run into something. <clears throat> about an hour into your journey, uh, or I'm sorry, about 10 minutes into your journey, you notice a very discernible path. It appears as though the Grung uh, did not forsake any issue uh, of being followed. They thought they would be successful. So keeping that in mind, uh, a trail is easy to find. As you follow the, follow the trail, you notice that the interior of the swamp is not very hospitable with a variety of, uh, I shouldn't have read that part. Uh, strange plants with colorful blossoms may intrigue you. Uh, everybody give me a survival check. You unmuted yourself, right? Nine. Uh, Fifteen for Crow. Eight. Ooh, sorry. Ooh, Fifteen. Uh, Crendor and Brother Cup, you find the colorful blossoms rather tantalizing, but as you reach for them, both Crow and Coda point out that eh, those are probably toxic. Well, that's not good. Don't, ten, don't touch that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> They Don't so touch with your hands. Though. Yeah, you can take one. Just I'd use a cloth or, you know, a glove. You know, if you like getting high, take that. It's great. <laughs> You'll blow your fucking mind. It's amazing. <laughs> Wanna get high? <laughs> wow. I mean, I've still got this, and I pull the uh, one of the haunches of the grung. I've still got this grung haunch. So, uh, I mean, it's still fairly fresh. If you want to try that, I mean, that'll. Trip balls for at least like 30 seconds. Trip balls is a regional comment. <laughs> 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 <clears throat> Participants in the burger campaign will understand that one. Oh, uh, yeah. That one takes some understanding. Uh, about an hour into it, everybody 
you continue to follow the trail, something large has bisected the trail. And by large, I mean uh, 12 to 15 feet high, 8 to 10 feet wide, uh, leaving very deep marks and pushing over smaller uh, swamp trees. Well, I don't think laying down will help, Crindor. <laughs> can, can Crow tell whether or not they're, um, whatchamacallit, mm-hmm. uh, four-legged or bipedal? Uh, four-legged. No way oh, necessary, yeah. Okay. You could be one. You can see that the gate is somewhat offset. You also notice uh, the footprints are circular, but have claw marks attached to the front. So it's like dinner plate, claw marks. Oh, wow. But the okay. gate is the front two seem to be close together, while the back two seem to be offset. It looks like an old lady's bicycle. <laughs> nice. Probably one of them there, heffalumps. And you yep. can tell that it goes from the left, uh, which would be east, mm-hmm. to the right, west. Oh, it goes east to west. <clears throat> yeah. So it falls the fun, maybe. Everybody, yeah. perception check. Uh, I need to switch this dice out. And six. Uh, twelve. Nine. Uh, you guys don't hear anything in either direction. Okay. Well, seems clear. <laughs> uh, the path from the grung continue on uh, another hour into it, and you guys are starting to push uh, early afternoon. Uh, you find a grisly sight. Everybody roll a d20. The high roll will see it first. Hmm. 18. Four. 15. 19. Coda, you notice, and Crendor notices just after you, uh, the body of a humanoid, similar in appearance to you guys, only taller, Coda, uh, is lashed to a tree, and it appears as though he has been tortured to death via slashing, with the coup de gras being a slash through the neck. Uh, yeah. But it does appear to be a burga individual, mm-hmm. uh, and he still bears a strange necklace of three stones, a large smooth stone and flanked by two smaller smooth stones they seem to have holes drilled into it somehow uh and then uh, some weeds or thatch through it to make the necklace hmm okay is it uh is it like a religious iconography or is it cannot just, tell uh, Oh, is it religious or is it just like a doesn't doesn't appear to be divine in nature uh it just appears to be some kind of uh mundane adornment hmm. <coughs> well um what should we do with this individual should we cut him down or, or i mean he's he's already dead so I mean, we could cut him down but it may be best to leave it just in case whoever is here comes back and doesn't better not to leave a trail or at least let them know that we were here. Sure. Sure. Um, what do you think about the necklace? Uh, should we take that to use it as a reference for anything else that we might find or. Uh, might be useful. I say let's maybe we just take the necklace. Okay. Okay. Taking the necklace off then? Yeah, my uh, crow, crow will do that respectfully. <laughs> sure, uh, Rob <laughs> the <Yank>. dead respectfully. <laughs> exactly. That works. Uh, as you do so, who wants to hang on to the necklace? And do you wear it? Um, I'll wear oh. it. Oh, okay. I hand it to Crendor. <laughs> okay, Crendor the Barbarian volunteers. Uh, continue back on the trail. Another hour, everybody perception check. 
<laughs> 19. Ooh. Okay. Um, 26. Nice. Three. 21. Uh, everybody but Crendor, who is admiring her new necklace, right. <laughs> spies another body in the middle of the trail. You also spy six fist size insects hovering around the body. Ugh. They appear to be partially bloated. Ugh. Oi, bugs. Fuck off. <laughs> Everybody roll initiative. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, that'd be one. Uh, 20 plus 5, 25. Ooh, 6. Cut. 19. Uh, 25 starts. Uh, everybody roll Arcana checks. Let's see if you've ever heard of these things before. Uh, 16. Uh, 18. Nine. None, none of you know what these are. Okay. So, Crow, what do you want to do? Uh, well, uh, I'm going to use my short bow and shoot one of them down. <laughs> okay. okay. Roll to hit. Uh, 13 does not hit, right? Or does it? Nope. 14 is what you need to hit these tiny things or kind of very small things. The Damn arrow it. goes off into the jungle. Uh, Brother Cup, you're up next. 18 and um, 18 will hit. Yep. Uh, that's six points of piercing damage. What do you Crossbow. Using? Crossbow. Cross uh, blood splatters everywhere as the engorged body just pops uh coda you are up next with the six because i got a five okay um <clears throat> are they like bunched together or are they kind of spread a little bit uh they're spread out a little bit but they're still bunched together if you're going to okay. use an area of effect yes i'm going to run up as close to them as i can get uh as close to as many of them as i can get and then i would like to cast thunder wave um oh no <laughs> on wow. the on the uh, bug creatures. You uh, notice he waited until after I fired my crossbow to run up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I will cast Thunder Wave uh, on these creatures. So they need a DC, I believe it's DC 13. Uh, Roll me a D10, please. <clears throat> See how many you get. There's five left. I rolled a five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So you got three of them. I need a DC 13. Mm -hmm. uh, 10, 11, and five. What's the modifier? Uh, it's a, it's 2D8. I know. I'm sorry. What, you, what do I, what am I saving? Against? Oh, they need a 13. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, DC 13 con save. Uh, plus zero. So no, none of okay. them save. And I'm going to use my uh, destructive wrath. So it takes <laughs> max damage. So they all take uh, 16 points of uh, thunder damage. Wow. That yeah. is... You guys all hear a thunderclap. <laughs> there is not even any blood, okay? You, you have splattered it across the tops of the trees because... <laughs> Sturges have two hit points. <laughs> wow. Guys. Nice. The last uh, insect <laughs> creature goes after three. Uh, crow. Okay. Uh, miss. Five. Uh, Crendor, uh, you were admiring your shiny rocks, so your head was up your ass. Uh, you didn't perceive the dead body. You didn't know there were Sturges. And you went last in the initiative round. Uh, you hear the thunder clap and you're like, hey, holy shit, there's bugs out here. What do you want to do? It's going to rain. <clears throat> what? Is it going to rain? Uh, you know what? I have a die for that. <laughs> it is only cloudy. Ah, oh, thank God. You'll be okay unless it rains. So you're up. There's only one bloated insect left. Uh, I will use my great axe. 
Sure, why not? <laughs> you know? What's the Confucius saying about hammer and testicles? <laughs> oh, I get like 24. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, you do two hit points, right? Let's hope. <laughs> uh, one, yeah, but, uh, Your strength yeah. bonus ought to take care of that. Yeah. You slice through it and through the corpse. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Anything on the corpse to loot? D12 against me. Let's see if you cut the thong off. Uh, <laughs> what kind of thong are we talking about? A uh, thong that holds the stones around its neck. Oh, okay. Four. Oh, damn it. Wrong one. There <coughs> oh, it is. Nine. Uh, you did not sever the head, only the groin area. <laughs> <laughs> this one does have a similar necklace. I rip it off. Oi, Grindor. Nice slash there. Nice. Uh, Koda, way to use maximum effort. <laughs> Deadpool <laughs> would be proud. <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, also, everybody but Krendor hears the sound of rushing water. I'm busy <laughs> yanking on the thing. <clears throat> Brenda, <laughs> oh. we're working on the biceps. I think the head popped off. <laughs> That's why you don't squeeze it that hard. <laughs> <laughs> you nice. do if you got mighty thighs. <laughs> uh, uh, although we have had a uh, murder hobo who collected penises for her necklace before. That's true. So, you know, That's true. Wow. Uh, hell, she might even be watching tonight. So, uh, the sound of rushing water is just ahead. Sounds mm. swell. Fish like. Nice. Let's go. Uh, you weave your way through the jungle or swamp uh, interior. It starts to thin out, and there is a larger, uh, a large river, not quite as large as the Murger River where your village is at. Uh, however, there is no log bridge here either. I will take arcana checks from all of you. See if you know which river this is. 19. That's with my minus one. It's a natural 20, but I got a minus one. Nice. No clue for Crow. Super Eight. bright. Eight. Uh, 13. Uh, only Brother Cup knows that this is the Gurgle River. Gurgle. Oh, that's one of the Murga's children. The Gurgle. Uh, actually, it is one of the tributaries of the much larger Murga. So... Uh, looking around, you see no bridge. Uh, everybody roll d20. Straight up. Straight up 12. Coda? Seven. Uh, Seven. Kredor, you see a, uh, I guess you'd call it a raft, for lack of a better term. Uh, what's, is it just floating? Is it tied to something? No, it, it is grounded into the sandy beach area. You notice that it is elongated as though it would be used to ferry uh, large number of occupants. Uh, noting that the grung are amphibious, uh, you don't really think the grung would need it. You aren't sure uh -huh. who would need it. But it might get you across the Gurgle River. I go, hey, guys, look. Raft. Let's go across the river. I'm on a boat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so are you guys going to grab it and drag it? Yeah, I think so. Yes. Everybody <laughs> give me a con save. Anyone know any Yacht Rock songs? Yeah. I'm on a boat. That's one. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Plus let's see. two. Uh, 20 for a crow. 11. 14. Uh, 20 for Coda. Uh, Krendor, D6. 3. Uh, <laughs> uh, apparently, Grungs handled this particular raft and left their distinct residue on it. You now seem to be temporarily deaf and can only yell out 
for the next minute. Nice. As you drag the raft forward. Uh, you guys get it into the water. It appears like it will float. Uh, it is not professionally constructed. Uh, mm -hmm. It certainly has some aspects that uh, eh, aren't great, uh, but it looks like it will get you across the river. The river is rather fast moving, though, uh, and it runs to the west. Uh, so the Gurgle River is more like a torrent, and those clouds are a building. The sun is a dropping. Mm. Okay, so, first thing I would like to do is I, I would like to um, cast Bless. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> on oh on Crindor and Crow. Because of course Cheskin will have Coda in my back. Thank you for Cheskin's blessing. Yeah. So they will add a D four to any uh rolls that they make to hit saving throw, attack, or skill. How do, how long does that last? Uh it lasts for one minute. Okay. Get to it. Uh one thing you do not see is creatures. Uh, oh. So who wants to be the pilot of this crap? There seems to be a long stick or bamboo pole uh, that uh, you can be care on. <laughs> <laughs> Crow, Crow will do it. <laughs> Crow, the one who nearly died earlier, is going to go ahead and ferry you guys across the river. Sticks. Outstanding. <laughs> Don't pay uh, the ferryman. <laughs> I'm thinking that Coda and I being shorter and squatter should stay towards the middle of the boat. <laughs> uh, Crow, give me your survival check. Okay. Survival it is. Crow, wait just a minute before you start running around and moving us places. Here's a little guidance. Chess can bless you. So you can oh. add a D4 to your, um, uh, to any of your, uh, do, 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 any ability, uh, ability, any ability check of choice. Right. Okay. So I've got attacks and saving throws covered. You've got ability <laughs> checks. Okay. Well, yeah. with that, I mean, Crow, let's see, plus four to an oh, 18. You, you get a roll a D4 and add to it. Oh, D4. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Let's see. Guided and blessed. Uh, three. Yeah. So, so. 21. Yeah, yeah 21. Uh, for some reason, Crow's been holding out on you guys as he can just twirl the bamboo pole and move it across. Uh, mm -hmm. Up ahead, Crow, uh, you notice uh, a little bit of floating debris. Uh, but everybody look around. Give me perception checks. Let's see if there's any critters out here. 23 with my nat 20. Uh, 15. 15 for Crow. 11. Uh, Coda's the only one having trouble seeing. Well, it's, yeah, this, sure. it's, it's dusk. It confuses him. What? what it is, uh, that that didn't, you fuck dark's perfect for you, but you know, dusk, it confuses you. You don't know if it's dawn or night. <laughs> that is true. Oh. Sure. I'm a solid five. <laughs> I'm only two inches taller than he is. <laughs> yeah, and you're making short jokes. So the, the sun is beating down on you from the right side, the west side, as it dips low in the uh, sky. Uh, Crow, as you move ever closer, uh, the debris seems to be moving. Like following or? Uh, like beelining towards you. Ah, okay. Oh. <laughs> Crow tries to use... Uh, steer and paddle faster. <laughs> uh, D12 against me. Okay. Woo! 12. Uh -huh. Oh, Whoa. 11. <laughs> Damn. So close. Uh, the debris starts to rise out of the water, uh, and the debris itself appears to be a mo haircut on a creature uh, that is glistening in water with humongous jaws and offset tusks. Oh, uh, no. Everybody, Arcana, check to see if you know what this is. And this has got to be that thing. 19. 12. Damn it. 20. Oh, yeah, me too. 19 plus uh, 4, so yeah. 
Crendor, mm-hmm. being the new person in town, you have no idea of the horrors told of the great Dormix. Uh, these are hippos. <laughs> Dormix! Are they hungry? Hungry, hungry. They are hungry, hungry hippo. There's only one of them because mm. they're that dangerous. Uh, as you attempt to evade it, Crow, you are almost successful. Everybody roll initiative against the Dormant. Uh, uh, you're right. You'll oh, prevail, you. My initiatives suck. 13. <laughs> uh, let's see. Seven, five, 12. 16. 16 as well. 16s. Uh, the 2552 five, dudes uh, will get their attack first. This thing is big. Yeah, Very real big. big. Yeah. <clears throat> That's probably the largest creature. How far away is it? Uh, it is going to chomp your boat. It's that close. Yep. Can I touch it? Uh, you can. You'll have to make a dex or an acrobatics check so you don't fall into the water. Okay. I want to touch it, so let me make that check. <laughs> and if it's a natural one, you're going in the mall. 19. Why? Watch it, it bites. <laughs> is oh, that that's, your that's acrobatics a, or your touch? That's my acrobatics. Now I would like to roll my melee spell attack. Sure. Does a 23 hit? 15 is your magic number. Easy uh, to hit. It's Hard going to take spell. 3d10 of necrotic damage, as I say very loudly, Cheskin taught me something new. All right. And do 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 points of necrotic damage. Wow. Wow, <laughs> you've successfully pissed it off. <laughs> Coda, All right. you're up. All right, little one. You're looking pretty today. Let's that light really you up. Damage uh, I'm going to cast a guiding bolt at it. Yeah, that's a uh, 14 plus a 19 to hit. Mm-hmm. Okay, 4d6 damage. <laughs> Seven, eight, 15 points of radiant damage. And whoever gets to hit it next has advantage. Uh, that would be the thir- lit up. 13, Crendor. Hit it. She's lit up for you. Nine. <laughs> uh, was that your acrobatics or your attack roll? Oh, that was attack. Okay, now roll your acrobatics. Fifteen. Okay, you successfully stay on the raft, although <laughs> you're pretty sure you almost fell off. Crow, uh, the only one that hasn't had to roll the acrobatics is Coda because he's using ranged spells. What would you like to do? I rolled a four for my initiative. Uh, you um, still have advantage, Crow, because she didn't hit it. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to take a, try to <clears throat> swipe and push off of it uh, with uh, the the oar or okay. the, the pole. So, so sure. like a quarter staff. Gonna... Okay. Sure. All right. Steve, leave her uh 13 plus 8 to hit so Mm -hmm. all right uh let's see uh that would be 1d6 plus uh let's see since i'm using this weapon i had to look it up uh okay got it All right. Uh, that is uh, ten points of bludgeoning damage. For a ten foot pole. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's a D six plus Crow's modifier. Gotcha. Uh, the hippo, aka Dormic, is going after your raft. Oh. Plus five. Uh, Nineteen plus five. Uh, the maw snaps into the <laughs> raft and begins to twist. Everybody make an acrobatics check. Oh, oh, this is not going to go well. 
Fifteen. Uh, let's see. Uh, acrobatics. <laughs> Four. Uh, Twenty-three for Crow. <laughs> so Cup and Crow manage to stay on the raft. Let's see how much damage the raft takes. Because <laughs> you may be. Da, 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 uh, going down with the ship. <laughs> Koda and Krendor, you will be fighting at disadvantage in the water unless you have water proficiency. <laughs> uh, okay, Shit. Crow and. That's not good. 12 hit points of damage as that raft evaporates underneath you. Uh, it. It snapped the string and pulled. And oh, just okay. Opened the entire raft. <laughs> so we take 12 hit points, or the raft took 12 the hit points? The raft takes 12 hit points, oh, okay. or in the drink. Okay. Everybody is at disadvantage unless you have water proficiency, which I don't think any of you do. No, no, no. So, uh, top of the order of the 16s, Brother Cup and Coda. Um, Oi, she's got us in the water. We're about Whoa, to be tits up. Right, I know. Tits up. <laughs> um, I'm going to drop Sacred Flame. Make a deck save, please, Frank, for your hippo. Uh, four. That so is a failure. I don't think that's going to help. It doesn't make 13. Eight I'm... points of radiant damage more to your... Coda. I'm going to swim up to it and hit him with Elkabong. Elkabong? <laughs> no, I do not. That is a, that is a nat one. With a mace, so. uh, Elkabong is... Uh, oh, shit. You know what? Odd, you hit one of your friends, even Elkabong. What is Elkabong? Is it it's a warhammer. Uh, it'll be floating away. Oh. <laughs> Odd. So go ahead and roll a D6. Or, I'm sorry, D4. Uh, Krendor is one, Cup is two, Crow is three, you are four. Uh, who's two again? Uh, that would be Brother Cup. El Kabong to Brother Cup. <laughs> Cup. Fuck. <laughs> uh, let's see. He I want to know how much damage it is first. <laughs> oh, you take um, three points of bludgeoning damage from El Kabong flying out of my hands. And that's ah! halved, right? That is halved, yeah. Uh, I rolled a seven. Oi, nice. Coda! Fuck! <laughs> Sorry. Hit the, hit the hippo! <laughs> <laughs> if you could push that back my way, that'd be lovely. It's because right, he's short. Man. Come on. Grendor, you're up. Uh, you're in the drink. You're fighting a disadvantage. Uh, of course. It's what we do best. Fuck. <laughs> Four. Well, it's not a one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Crow, you're up. Uh, 24 to hit. Uh, <laughs> let's see. At disadvantage, right? Oh, I forgot about disadvantage. Uh, okay. Uh, disadvantage, 18. Sure. So, God, okay. Crow can hit something. <laughs> hey, I'm dexterous. <laughs> Coda hit something. I did. I didn't try that. Uh, let's see. 1d6 plus 6. Uh, yeah, 11 points of uh, piercing damage, and can I make an offhand attack with a dagger? Uh, at disadvantage. Okay. Ooh. Everything's at disadvantage. Uh, yeah, miss. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, the current gets a hold of one of you. Bye, everyone. Or Coda gets a hold of you. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you a, just know. Give me Black, a code of oh, shit. or Ouch. acrobatics. I'll give you your choice. <laughs> what was it again? Strength or acrobatics. I gotta go strength. I'm a, I'm a strength guy. Uh, let's see. Ooh, natural 20 plus 5, 25. Uh, Coda grabs his warhammer as he... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, the critter gets... Two attacks. Oh, the God. First attack is a one, Krendor. Second attack is three, Crow. Uh, on Krendor, teeth. 
16 plus 5 Crendor's hit with teeth. Ouch. Ooh, 18 plus 5 on oh. Crow. You get butt slammed. So you are each going to take, and I'm going to use Murder Hobo Ink Dice because that hurt last time. What does it? Uh, double deuce, four plus four, eight piercing to Crendor, eight bludgeoning to Crow. Right. <laughs> you guys are getting right fucked. I mean, you got <laughs> hippo <laughs> uh, and Hitty in the ding ding. <laughs> uh, that takes us to the top of the order. Uh, Cup and Coda, who is rearmed. All right, let's go get this bad boy. Um, let me see. You do a little dance again, Hippo. Deck save, please. Three this time. Sacred Flame! <coughs> uh, oh, but I do get plus two. So that is ooh. a five. <laughs> um, well, and that's how many points of radiant damage you're going to take is five. Right. Uh, it's not looking so hot. That's a 22 to hit. At disadvantage? Yes, I did. I wrote a 16 oh. and a 15, so. Very nice. All right, let's see. Here we go. Nice. Maximum damage. 13 points of bludgeoning damage as the Alcabon comes down. Taste the hammer. Oh, I have. Crendor, you're up. What am I Crendor doing? went to get different dice. You're attacking at disadvantage, though, because you're still in the drink. But the Dormic is not looking so hot at all. Um, 22. At disadvantage? Yes. Okay. Cheating bastards. You're all cheating bastards. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first decent roll I've had all night. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> uh, I will use my hand axe. Okay. And the only one I trust is El Cabong. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and I do seven. Uh, that is enough to turn it upside down, and the river runs red with blood from the Dormic. And the, the bloated, river, <laughs> the bloated creature floats whoop, inverted <laughs> down the river. Uh, now we just have to find our way to shore. Everybody has to make an acrobatics check to get. Oh, to shore. come on, come on. Well, Ooh, hey, at least you're blessed. Oh, wait a minute, that's not you. <laughs> Eighteen. No. Uh, Sixteen. Next Nat 20 for Crow, so yeah, Acrobatics 25. 13. Yeah. Yeah. Coda, Coda dog paddles his way to shore <laughs> as the others, uh, Mark Spitz or any other recent dude uh, not using cannabis. Uh, <laughs> uh, so everybody winds up on shore, waterlogged, soaked, uh, everybody roll a d20 to see who sees this first. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> Crow does it. Eight. Seven. Ten. A ten wins this <laughs> one. Wow. Uh, as you crawl towards shore, ahead of you, sitting on a log, is this short, squat woman you think have you ever seen those dried apple core <laughs> oh, sculptures oh, oh it's my nan yeah that's what it <laughs> looks it's like Nana. <laughs> and it's it's got a pipe boy nan sitting there and what it, are you blow, doing? it blows out smoke triangles whoa she's oh it's got, not me nan mouth issues so it's nice so she looks just kind of watching hey. you guys. <laughs> hey. Got water oh, in the oh. You remind me of my nan. <sighs> Who's your nan? Well, my nan, I. We don't usually speak the names of the dead. I'm sorry. <laughs> Probably not. She wasn't really that nice. <clears throat> you guys seem to have your own trouble. Do you guys hate each other? Mm. No. No. Nice. 
Like that, him that, that one clobbered you. It's <laughs> a blessing from Cheskin. See? It's, uh, it's, We're uh, clumsy. It's, it's fair, fair game, though, actually. He still owes me a couple. It's because he's short. I'm not that short. <laughs> You're the only one in the village shorter than me. True. She takes a long pull. Not that there's many people in the village anymore. Yeah, Looks around. I am the shortest in the village now that most everyone's dead. <laughs> well, you're still above ground, she points out. It's true. Because I'd be drowning if I were six feet under. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Crow, Crow asks her, who might you be? <laughs> Sierra. Sierra. Pleasure Inside check. Missed. <laughs> Sierra missed. Yes, insight check. Nice. Shout uh, out to Sierra Mist if you want to sponsor it. Yeah, we'll, we'll take it. <laughs> 18. Uh, Crow only rolled a 7. Nice. Must be the smoke. Fine. Cup, are you doing insight? Oh, yeah. I mean, um, 18 plus 5 is 23. She doesn't seem to have any reason to lie. She's weird looking, uh, has strange, colorful clothes on, and a lot of wooden beads and like Do you have big, a big chestnut necklaces. Oh. Does she have a, a necklace of similar adornment from the people we saw who were killed? She does not. Okay. Huh. So what brings you to uh, my land? You know, rivers. That's funny. <laughs> I've been known to my comedic timing. What land is this? What? What land is this? This is the land of Murga. 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 That's our land. We're Murga. We're from I a different have, side. I have a deed. Well, we're from Toad Town. Oh, that explains everything. Well, there really isn't any Toad Town anymore. No, there's like three three people left. Not never, counting us. Never been there. You I wouldn't like wouldn't. it. There's no plumbing. Not a bit. So why'd you kill my pet? <gasps> oh, he no. tried to eat us? He ate a boat. And he tried to eat us. That's not my pet. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> well, that's well, hey, just rude. Sorry your pet died. Uh, I was going to say we'd have a hard time finding another one. She takes two fingers and gives the shrillest, loudest whistle you've ever oh heard. God, it's your roll sister. A con check. Oh. Twelve. Uh, net twenty for Crow. Six. Twenty. Dirty twenty for Toto. <laughs> Yet again, Crandor is deafened, so she will have to shout. Filthy uh, twelve. Her answers. Uh, Crandor. Uh, everybody else uh, I'm actually just here uh, waiting until my mouth finishes eating well that's nice it's, it's, it seems like a pretty dry stretch of land here would, would you perchance mind if we were to camp here for the night that's fine oh well thank you thank you appreciate it I'm going to go best, back to my land everything. Uh, this is the northern reach or northern boundary of my land. Uh, is it dangerous over here other than the, the big hippo things? Oh, yes. Spiders with giant fangs live on this side. <laughs> Great big snakes. Boy, Ooh. that's nice. You mind if we, uh, is it possible that your land or where you live closer is a bit more hospitable than this area? If we could possibly uh, stay in an area that's not full of uh, deadly snakes and spiders? <laughs> or, uh, no, I do not trust you. <laughs> <laughs> that's reasonable. I mean, that's we did just kill a creature and came out of yeah. there. An just enormous us. stag comes out. I mean, the... The rack on the antlers is just huge. I oh, ready wow. my javelin. Wow, check out the rack on those antlers. <laughs> please nice don't, <laughs> please don't kill my mount. What? Uh, what? <laughs> We're like. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Krendor, as you hold your javelin, you look over and you notice it is a giant lily now. <laughs> uh, nice. uh, the rest of you see the sparkles come from her fingertips. She leaps up on the antlers and climbs up on the back and says, try not to break anything on this side of the river, please. That was fantastic. That was Man. amazing. Turn, turns tail and boom, takes off like a bat out of hell. Do you want to throw your lily at it? No, I'm pissed. Where's my javelin? I need a javelin! Bah! <laughs> Your javelin reappears after she is far enough away. Okay. I'm fine. Still can't uh, hear. I still the, can't hear! The sun is, is really starting to set. Uh, there is a sandy beach. Sandy's being generous. It's more muddy than anything else. Uh -huh. And there is a tree line. Do you want to camp in the water, in the mud, or in the tree line? Tree line. Tree line. At the tree line. Everybody says tree line. Uh, who's setting up camp? I'll start setting up camp. Survival check. Okay. Uh, can Crow assist? I will uh, case the little uh, guidance yep. on myself, make sure I don't fuck this up. <laughs> All right, that'll be a 17. Uh, 18 for Crow. So. Yeah, you guys uh, set up a nice little lean to uh, as the clouds thicken. Looks like it's going to be a wet night. Uh, and like a thunderstorm? As if on cue, uh, roaring thunder can mm. be heard off in the distance. Just as Coda <laughs> could be worse, could be raining. <laughs> oh, it's not that bad. It's only a good storm. We'll be fine as long we're as we're already wet from the river. <laughs> I mean, we're a, bit, we're a bit more upland in Steve Dion, so we're not going to get soaked too bit. Um, just sure. make sure that you guys keep your stuff out of the water. You don't want it to get all soaked on the ground. Make sure you yeah, hang sir. it from a tree. Yeah, between you and Crow, you guys have found a suitable elevated spot. So even if the river swells a lot, uh, you're fairly confident uh, it's not going to reach you. Okay. But uh do you want to do the lean to or do you want to do hammocks in the tree because uh, nothing says fun like lightning in a tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. probably let's go lean to yeah let's make the mess out of lean to's <laughs> up against a tree no yeah boy he's <laughs> angling for the tree just, huh? just a little outside the tree tree yeah. yeah just a bit outside yeah that's it <laughs> For all of our baseball That's ball fans. too. Uh, as you Too guys, high. Too <laughs> high. As you guys eat what <laughs> snacks you manage to snag from Toad Town, uh, here comes the rain on a level of intensity, one being eh and four being oh shit. It's a four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, sheet nice. lightning fills the sky and... None of you need to make survival rolls. You know this is going to be ugly. Uh, it's going to be very bad. Uh, as the night progresses, do you want to set up uh, guard watch or risk it? Uh, I mean, guard I'm, watch. Guard watch. Yeah. Before all this <laughs> happens, like, is, is during the storm, Coda like strips off his uh, armor and comes out with his war hammer <laughs> into the middle of the storm. And like and like drops his war hammer out, like just getting soaked, and like prays to Cheskin. Um, this, this is the kind of this is how he was kind of reborn. So he uh, he just prays and is and full glory to Cheskin and the storm that comes with it. Very nice. Uh, are all four of you going to take a watch? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, as the storm grows in intensity. Everybody roll a d20. Do not roll a one. <laughs> 17. Ooh, seven. I thought it was a one when I saw it. I was like, 13. Oh. <laughs> uh, at some point in time, Coda and Crow, lightning really comes close to you. <laughs> oh, you're so close. But Come it does on. not get. Uh, during your watches... One, Crendor. Uh, 
you're pretty sure you see something. It's a quadruped uh, moving about. Uh, not small, not large, kind of medium size. Seems to be skirting around the outside of your encampment. Uh, because you're human and don't have dark vision, uh, you really don't know good or bad. Uh, D12 against me. Nine. Uh, it never enters the camp, never comes close. Any movement towards it uh, causes it to move away. The rain is torrential. I mean, even if you guys had a fire, mm -mm, not going to be there. Naked and uh, afraid. Naked and afraid <laughs> in the worst possible place on the planet. Uh, nice. Minnesota. So. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Wait, is it mosquito season? Uh, it is not mosquitoes. Oh, okay. We can survive that, Minnesota then. That That is how bad the torrential rains are. In the morning might be a different thing. Uh, since you did not opt to do the hammocks, everybody make a con check, please. Nat 20. Uh, that's 22. Nine for Crow. 14. Two. <laughs> Crendor and Crow, you have little tiny bites all over your body. Oh. Uh, all persuasion checks and charisma checks are going to be at minus one for the day. Nice. Uh, as the skies have cleared up. As the skies have cleared off, it's going to be a bright, sunny day, probably hotter than hell. Uh, but each of uh, Coda and Cup, you notice that Crendor and Crow look like they have measles. Uh, oh, I've got a salve for that. And they, uh, yeah, I'll bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> I would take anything. <laughs> yeah, the itching. Oh, <laughs> I do. I have medicine. Like, now you did get a full rest, so. Oh, okay. I throw yeah, myself you're... down on the mud and roll around. I can't <laughs> take it. Well, you already know the cure, then. It should be fine. Just uh, yeah. put a little dirt in it. You'll be good. Rub, rub some dirt on it. Yeah. Well, uh, as long as it's not that blue dirt or the black dirt, it's fine. Yeah. The uh, maybe she's colorblind. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the sun comes out is. early, and it's going to be a hot one. Uh, to scorch you. Do you guys want to continue west? Or do you want to go east? Well, we headed south. You're we headed south, on. and... Uh, we got go sidetracked. You got sidetracked. That seems to happen somehow. I'm pretty sure it's Cheskin's will. You know, I didn't have you guys roll perception checks at night uh, because it was dark. I'll have you roll perception checks during the day. Go ahead. Uh, 17. 12 plus 5, yes. 9. Uh, Crow's too busy scratching. <laughs> 10. Uh, she's too busy scratching as well. Brother Cup, there is another corpse tied to a tree. Short distance west. Oh. Looky there. It is bulbous. Oh. It it's is like wet. this one got soaked bulbous. in the Maybe it's a grung. It is not a grung. Oh. Does it have, uh, Does it have a necklace on it? Uh, maybe these, uh, maybe we shouldn't take these necklaces. They might be, uh, people that need to die. According uh, to people in the area. So, yeah, yeah. Good luck, Krenda. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I take the off the one necklace. I put on my wrist and I tuck it in his bag surreptitiously. Nice. <laughs> Give me a stealth check. <laughs> a two. <laughs> Look, dead bird. <laughs> uh, Coda, 
<laughs> Coda, clearly she's planting the evidence on you. I don't, yeah. want, I don't want the bloody necklace. Toss it on the ground. Yeah. Why don't you leave yeah. all the bloody necklaces here? Uh, do you want the necklace off this one? No, I think we should give him two more. <laughs> do you want to do that? Sure. No. Who wants to put the necklace on it? Nope. I just rip it off my neck and throw it at him. Yep. Close Coda enough. continues to walk away. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm no. following Coda now. Close enough. Did boy. Four <laughs> shoes. Nope. Crendor nope. rolled a hit. Uh, <clears throat> why do I have to hit it? It just has to be near him. <laughs> I want to see if you hit him. Uh, eight. Oh. Uh, yeah, you throw it in the sand close to him. He is really starting to smell ripe. Oh, let's move away more quickly, shall we? A moment it's a good later, day for a brisk walk, Coda. A yeah. crow lands on its head and plucks out an eye. Yes. <laughs> oh. Uh, but. I mean, it was a little bit west, so, you know, woo -woo, uh, do you want to keep going west? <laughs> or you can go east or south. I don't care. I actually maybe uh, east for both. Let's head, let's head back south like we were supposed to. Okay. I, that, I mean, I feel like we're not going back, but whatever. Sam. Sure. I missed my cart, but I suppose I could always get another one. Yeah, true. Okay. I'm... I third it. Yeah. Let's then let's go west. It. West or uh, south? <laughs> you just want to completely fuck all and go south. Or well, west. while they're arguing, I poke the body with my javelin. Let's go oh, south it explodes. Okay. Oh, oh, let's, let's, see if I, let's see if I hit you. Now 20. You are covered in goo. Awesome. <laughs> I guess like, that's us going back to the river then. Let's go southwest. We'll go in like a kind of in the same direction. South and west. Yes. Uh, south and west uh, continues to take you through the swamp. Uh, the tributary here is not very powerful, so the water does not move as fast. There seem to be large swarms of insects hovering above the water line uh, as Crendor approaches covered in goo. <laughs> uh, you notice that the insects detect and begin to move towards you guys at a fast rate. Hey, wow. I have mud first and then goo. Yes. I get uh, I get 20 feet from Crendor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm planning on staying back quite a ways from this stench of Crendor and the water. You might want to dip in the water because you smell ripe. <laughs> and I'm not talking like a good fruit. I'm talking like <laughs> ripe, ripe, <laughs> ripe. Uh, everybody, roll initiative as the insects. Dun, da, da, dun, da, da, dun, 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 dun. Oh fuck me! Fifteen this time. Twenty-five for crow. Uh, Seventeen. I'm at twenty. Massive... What was yours, cup? Uh, Seventeen. I have that massive plus zero. Initiative modifier. Crendor? One. Nice. Uh, 25 goes first. Uh, there's a big whopping pack of insects here. Uh, crow, I mean, how big? Are we talking like fly swatter size? Ooh, big. Okay. Crow's going to fire uh, a sh his short bow. Uh, nat 20. And, At a swarm of insects, he's shooting arrows. <laughs> uh, I'm picking one out of them. So, I mean, how big? You said the the insects were that big, or the swarm? swarm the thing the about attacking. Swarm is that big. Oh, oh, okay. Well, how big are the insects that we're talking this big? Yeah, <laughs> just shoot right through it. <laughs> You're cutting a swath through. How much damage? Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's a D6. So, uh, only four points of damage. Fair enough. Uh, 17 is up next. Cup. Oh, no, no I'm idea. sorry. What? I have no idea what to yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, I've, I've got him transposed here. Go uh, ahead. Yeah, um, no idea what to do. 
none whatsoever. Let's see, what's the range on that? Um, well, swarm counts as a creature, so um, have your swarm make a DC 13 dex save. Uh, 18 on the oh, roll. I guess they don't take any radiant damage then. Uh, so 19 overall. Nope, yeah. they do not. Cantrip uh, does nothing. Uh, the insect swarm splits off into two. One swarm heads towards Crendor and Crow. One heads towards Cup and Coda. Odd even. Even Crow. Odd even. Even Coda. Uh, so on Crow. That one on Coda. Uh, 10 plus three, only 13. That'll hit. No shit. <laughs> I, I, I don't have decks. I have no decks, and I don't have powerful armor yet or anything decent. Um, but I will use as a reaction my Wrath of Storms. Listen to the amount of dice. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Ooh, that's going to hurt. Uh, 12 damage. <laughs> wow! <laughs> From a swarm? Wow. Um, I need 34. the. Geez, I need the uh, the swarm to make a dexterity saving throw, DC thirteen. That's a five. Okay, they take two d eight thunder damage as my destructive wrath fires <laughs> off. Three, that is nine points of thunder well, damage. Uh, that's nice, uh, Coda. Or a cup, make a uh, constitution check. See if you're going to be down. <laughs> um, 17. You're fine. Uh, moving on, six. Uh, you think that's bad? You should hear it when he plays his music loud. Nice. Coda, you are up. All right, let's hit the swarm with my Elkabong. Nope, I do not hit the swarm. That is a nine. Uh, that nine total. Yes. Okay. Uh, Crendor with your mighty one. I throw myself in the lake or the water and roll around. <laughs> what else am I going to do? I, <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing that's going to go against a swarm. Top of the order. You can slash through it. Top of the order, 25, Crow. Crow, uh, you stand alone against the swarm. Alone <laughs> against the swarm. The crow stand stands alone. alone. The crow <laughs> stands alone. Nice. Hi, hi, the Mario. Crow, crow uh, swings for an 18 to hit. Hits. Okay. And let's well, see. Only 12 to hit these things. Okay. Uh, 11 points of damage. Oh, that hurt. Slashing. Uh brother cup um as a bonus action i'm going to cast healing word on coda uh d4 it looks like that's a three <laughs> uh, yeah three plus my bonus of eight uh that's going to make 11 points of healing for you coda oh coda, wow coda you expand and you actually pop the voracious mosquitoes out of your flesh. And then I'm going to swipe my mace through them, because fuck it. Roll a um, one, roll a one, roll a one, roll a one. Fifteen, no. We know what happened the last time we rolled a one. I know. The mace. <laughs> uh, I don't remember what the damn mace damage is. Okay, uh, nice. fifteen, and uh, that's... Uh, I should have used a murder hoe, but I... That's three points of bludgeoning damage. Wow. Uh, swarm time. Uh, let's see if they perceive Crendor is underwater. Uh, it's coming at you, Crow. <laughs> oh, and, no. And then odd even. Uh, even again with a 16. So, Coda, they're coming back at you. First Crow. Uh, 14 plus 317. That hits. Coda. Uh, six. Plus three, nine. That uh, uh, Good news, both swarms are at half strength, so it's only 2d4 this time. Three and one. Uh, four hit points of damage, Crow. Okay. 
Uh, Crow, or... I should hand Coda my shield. Uh, Coda, you're up. <laughs> I, I have a shield, I'm just, I don't have any dexterity. Okay, 18 plus, that's 25 to hit with the El Caban. Oh. Shh. Shh. Nice. Another max damage. 13 points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, that swarm has had enough, and it will leave. Uh, Krendor, as you come up out of the water like Phoebe Cates in Fast Times Original. Nice. I was thinking about Rambo. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can well, go Rambo. That too. Uh, you're coming up behind the swarm. Whoosh. What do you want to do? Uh... Gee, uh, I will use my hand axe. <laughs> you want to run like Bo Derek across the sand? Yeah, I want to do that. <laughs> okay, uh, go ahead and attack with your hand axe. Uh, 17. That hits. Uh, also, you guys can see her pox marks everywhere from the mines. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um... I can hear the Baywatch theme song in the background. Eight. Uh, eight is enough. Uh, that swarm also jets ah. off and has had enough. Congratulations, guys. You faced mosquitoes. Nice. <laughs> I feel like shooting at them in part. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Sacred flame. Sacred flame. Uh, Krendor, uh, the... Fetid water has done little to help your charisma issues and has probably made it worse. Uh, let's go minus two on any persuasion to charisma based rolls because now you smell like fetid water and you've got the pox marks. Yeah, uh, but I got the guts off of me. That's true. You did get the guts. You know what? That's I'll keep true. you at minus one. Thank uh, you. That, that'll work. Uh, so, do you want to follow this tributary or choose another direction? Uh, I don't want to mess with bugs anymore, so... Yeah. <laughs> Let's just go west. Yeah, we'll stab westward. <laughs> do you want to go back to the river and travel along the open area where you can see shit, or just say fuck it and cut west? Fuck it. And cut west. <laughs> cool beans. Uh, is there a marching order? Uh, Crow, Crow could probably go first. Okay, yeah. I'll go behind Crow. Uh, Crow, give me... What kind of a roll did I decide on? Uh, I got to be on TV twice. Give me an acrobatics check, Crow. Okay. Uh, let's see. Acrobatics it is. Uh, that would be, I rolled poorly, <laughs> 10. Uh, good news. You have found the horror that my childhood was built around. A and runner. you drop down into quicksand. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, what do the other three want to do? Bye, oh. Crow. <laughs> Did he to dump th all the way in, or is it just like up to his belt? Due to the, up to his neck. Due to the way that I'm usually used to having a rope on my belt with a loop tied in it for when Coda falls in the river, I will uh, attempt to toss my rope to Crow. Help! Thirteen. <laughs> uh, What's your AC, Crow? Seventeen. <laughs> Give me a Dex check. Not okay. Save. All right, Dex. Um, let's see. Uh, 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 21. Uh, yeah, you catch it. However, as he starts to drag you, you feel a sharp pain in your leg. Oh. And you take three hit points of damage. Ooh, uh, nice. And it feels like your leg's been opened up, but you aren't sure from what. Oh, ouch. Okay. So, uh, Krendor Coda, you see Brother Western Cup. Uh, lasso his doggy and start to pull, what would you guys like to do? I'll help. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm Alright, like, come on. 
Something I, I, bit me. I would give experience <laughs> points if you would have said cut the rope. <laughs> <laughs> it's your time, Crow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know the dead come back, right? Yeah. <laughs> Throw them both ends. Work with Crow. Uh, Crendor, what do you want to do? I'll help. Okay. Uh, as you guys haul out, Crow, D20. Just straight up D20? Yep. 16. Nine. Uh, they, no. they drag you to terra firma, uh, but you have a rather large gash in your leg. Uh, along with some bark. Oh, ouch. Okay. Looks um, like you got on a root or a limb. Oh, okay. Looks yeah. like you've got a splinter. Yoink! <laughs> Yoink! <laughs> oh, pull that out. No. Oh, I'll it in. It'll be fine. Uh, yeah, sepsis is, uh, adds to your attack rolls. Crow, Crow knows enough about survival. He tries to clean clean it oh, off and all. I know. Crow, I have no medicine. I can help you. Come on, sit down. Okay. See you later. <laughs> and I'll bandage up his Prop leg. Prop it up. <laughs> Give me a medicine check, there, Coda. Okay. I'll start, guide my... Start. Start with a tourniquet. <laughs> I'll, I'll guide myself just to be safe, so I don't really ruin it for him. Okay, that was good. Uh, <laughs> that's a uh, eleven. With my bless bonus, that's two. <laughs> uh, he seems to bandage you up rather expertly. Uh, nice. The sun's really starting to beat down here. The smell of the fetid tributary is weighing heavily upon you. Go. Oh. Continue forward. Yeah, let's keep going. Yep. Watch out for quicksand. I'll it's try. <laughs> okay. Uh, who's leading? Uh, if they have faith in Crow, 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 Crow will find everything for them. <laughs> I'll tap Crow again with a little guidance for the next okay. minute or uh, so. Give me another uh, check, Crow. Okay. Just add uh, a D4. Survival? Mm hmm. Okay. Ooh. Uh... <laughs> add a D4. I am. I am. Let's see. Seven, five, all right. 14. <laughs> This time you see the quicksand. Okay. <laughs> and you kind of swoop around. Watch it. out. Watch out for that. <laughs> uh, the areas with the quicksand were kind of open canopied areas. Uh, the trees don't extend over it. Ahead of you, the trees start to close in and form a canopy. You can hear strange birds uh, chittering because monkeys are fucking evil. Oh, they're going to uh, throw poo, aren't they? But Shields the, up. the canopy will protect you from sun damage. The UV rays will not uh, sunburn you. Thank God. All right. Uh, no, as, you, <laughs> as you guys continue forward, 1D4. That's the Bronze Age, mate. No one lives long enough to die of cancer. <laughs> Hoda. Uh, everybody, give me perception check, please. Uh, 20. Ooh. Dirty. <laughs> 20. Natural one. So, yeah, eight. 11. Uh, Crendor and Brother Cup, you hear something falling as Crow's tying his boot. Das boot. Uh, eight plus six. 14 hit you, Coda? Yes. A giant snake falls down upon you. Oh. And bites you. <laughs> <laughs> give, ah. me a, give me a grapple, DC 16 grapple. You can have strength or uh, dex, your choice. Because yes. uh, I am a benevolent guy. 15 plus 5, 20. Uh, you do not get wrapped up in it. No, you don't, you fucking snake. <laughs> uh, it does get you for eight hit points, oh, though. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Everybody Easy. roll initiative. Coda, that'll make a great dinner. Boots. Uh, 22 for Crow. 14. Eight. Eight for Coda as well. 22. Uh, the big snake is on the deck. Okay, uh, so I'm up 22. So Crow takes his dagger and makes a leap 
and tries because to... he was tying his boots, he was in good proximity to hit the stake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Captain Jackass, <laughs> <laughs> Captain Ron. Uh, let's see. So roll the hit. Uh, yep. Twelve okay. is all you need. Yeah, uh, seventeen. Uh, we'll hit. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, that will be eight points of piercing <laughs> damage. Nice. Next up is the 14, Crendor. Okay, so Green Axe. Uh, how much to hit? 12. Okay, I got that. And so it'll be uh, 12 plus 3. Ten. Ooh, nice. Uh, the snake does not approve. Three. Uh, it's biting crow. Ah. I want a snakeskin bikini. Twelve. Snake snakes is very nice. Eighteen. Yeah, that hits. Uh, well, you got to kill it quick in order to get that bikini. Four and five is nine hit points of bite damage. Piercing. Ouch. Uh, wow. Le leading us to the pair of eights, Brother Cup and Coda. F you, Cup. Uh, right, then. Um, Sacred Flame. Make a deck save, Snake. DC 13. Uh, 15 plus. Now you made it. Q, 17. Ah, uh, darn it. <clears throat> Coda. Uh, Koto will jump on the snake and bite it back. <laughs> bite it back. Ah! Nice. Thank you. Koto takes uh, a level in Barbarian. Oh. That's, a, <laughs> that's a 20 to hit. With that big snake between your legs. Ah, wow. hey. Take some bite out of it. <laughs> Why I didn't want to use a weapon. What kind of, what kind of damage would he do? Is that like a, just like one plus my strength? I'll give you D4 plus uh, strength. Those strong dwarven jaws. Seven. <laughs> well, nice. well done, Mike Tyson. <laughs> nice. nice. Thanks. That's Tyke top, Tyson. I mean, oh. top, <laughs> top of the order, 22. That's not funny. Crow, oh. be careful. Coda is. Yeah, he's. he's yeah. He's, <laughs> I'm going to wrestle this fucking it. snake if it kills me. <laughs> uh, question. How much healing did Crow get from Coda with the bandage? Did he get any or? One hit point. One hit point. Okay. I, I'm okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he all he did was uh, apply a bandage to it. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I'm just trying to make sure. Coda, where if it tries I need to, to be. attack you this round, it will be a disadvantage because you're on top. Uh, let's see. I am the best. With the big snake between your legs. Big serpent. <laughs> you know what they say about dwarves? They're <laughs> short. They're short. That's all. That's all. <laughs> That's uh, 13, have mighty hammers. 13 to hit? 13 hits. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, six, six, six. Uh, 11 points of slashing damage. Up to 36. Very nice. Uh, 14, Crendor. I can't even think of a famous rodeo guy. Back to the hand axe. Okay. Do less damage when you hit Coda in the face. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> oh, crap. I keep thinking Dr. Eight. Strange Love on the bomb. <laughs> uh, eight is not good enough Damn. to hit Coda or his Python. Uh, okay. The Python. Damn. Nice. I want to the see Pi that Python. <clears throat> oh, it's clearly evident. Uh, <laughs> 13 to hit. Three uh, going after Cup this time. Uh, 12 plus six, 18. That just hits me. Uh, four damage. Mm -hmm. Life clerics get armor. It's great. And you know what? I forgot to do. Uh, give me a DC 16 grapple. Strength or dex. Um, with my strength, that's a 17. 
All right, you're fine. I forgot to do that on Crow. Uh, next up, the eights. The crazy eights. Crazy um, eights. Uh. Since it's right there, I'm going to... Uh, oh, it's take, right there. Code is right at melee, your face. Yeah, I'm going to make a melee spell attack. Do it! Uh, that's 27 to hit, natural 20. <laughs> do we do criticals on spell damage? You do not do criticals on spell damage. Damn! I don't think we do, do we? I don't know, do we? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that would suck. So God, a fireball would really blow ass. <laughs> this is 3d10. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, yeah! 28 points! Uh, uh, what, what kind of damage was this? Necrotic damage. Necrotic is good. Cheskin uh, says you dead. <laughs> uh, Coda, the python goes flaccid. It goes limp. <laughs> <laughs> and you drop to the ground. Uh, fortunately, the necrotic damage is not going to do significant damage to the skin. Do you want to... Who wants... To, do you want to, and who wants to try animal handling to retrieve the usable hide? I have animal handling. I've got a plus three. That, that's all I got. Uh, good luck. Too. I'll, I'll pop you a little guidance while you do that. <clears throat> that's a natural 20 plus uh, three plus, uh, what is the guidance? Yeah, no, Let's no get need. it up there. Uh, that's 27. Uh, looks like Rindor's got her bikini. <laughs> not, not the first time you skinned a python. I'm guessing. Absolutely not. not. <laughs> Brother Cuff's first name is Moyle. <laughs> uh, oh, I feel yeah. the sausage or two in my time. You will be able to get uh, a pair of boots and the snakeskin bikini if you wish. Uh, however, a tanner or a tailor's uh, skills are going to be necessary for this. Sure. I would just, you know, salt down the hide, roll it up, and give it to Crendor Sue to take to somebody to fashion that for her. Cool. Uh, taking the meat. Good meat there. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. A lot of meat. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, well, we'll harvest let's it. see. Is there is there any uh, like? It'd be real good it, for our next long rest. Was it a regular? Was it just a regular snake, or was it? Did it happen to be pregnant? And we have snake eggs where we can have omelets. Uh, you know what? D twelve against me. Oh <laughs> come on! I I, I I don't think omelets is going to be big. five, eight embryonic snake. Uh, roll, roll D twenty. Okay. Nine. Uh, you have nine little eggs. Yeah. Um, I say, let's gather all the food into one place, um, say, in a 10-foot circle. All right. All right. I, I keep one egg, and I kind of clean it off, and I uh, put it, like, I cover it up and put it in my uh, in my pouch as, like, a, as a keepsake. I'm going to try and hatch it. Ah, uh, Okay. Sure, that's a great I, idea. He, he, wants a, he wants a pet python. <laughs> that's all right. I'm just going to mumble the uh, appropriate blessings of Cheskin and purify food and drink. Okay, yeah, this, was, this was a constrictor, so no poison, no toxin. Yeah, yeah, just in case. That's fine. Uh, Cody, My DM's name percentage. is Frank. That's true. <laughs> uh, okay. 87. That would be tough to beat. It's a fair bit of tuck, Akota. I think we should just settle in for the night, eat snake. 51. <laughs> uh, it looks like you're going to be a mama. Uh, everybody roll perception. It'll probably hatch fast since you're warmer than its mother was, you know. 16 for Crendor. Nice. Put it in your groin. Perception. Uh, that is with my modifier a seven. Uh, nineteen for Crow. I was Six. not looking. Six. Oda's still busy stuffing the tiny python into his pants. Uh, Brother Cup is still gathering the food. Crow and Crendor notice. Uh, there's some huts up ahead, and the sun is starting to set. Okay. 
uh, I'll point that out to the crowd. I say, look, they're, they're, if you look past those trees, kind of focus in a little bit, you'll be able to see there's hot. Kota's kind of stuffing something. <laughs> yeah, he's the, yeah. <laughs> Go a python in my pants. <laughs> I've unrolled a tarp and I'm loading all Kota, the food Kota, stop playing it. with your python. Come see. <laughs> oh, what are we seeing? Ah. Uh, if you look straight just ahead, like his mom. It looks like huts. Ooh, huts. And I, Coda goes running. Uh, with the what? sun reaching the right, horizon, Coda. you can Fuck. make out a few structures far enough uh, in the swampy area uh, that flooding isn't a problem. This looks like dry land, maybe kind of half ass elevated, similar to Crendor's uh, spot where her people were. Everybody roll perception check. Let's take them the gift of meat. 19 for Crow. 15. 2. Uh, 21. Uh, everybody but Crendor, who is having tinnitus, uh, hears musical notes coming from a bamboo wooden chime near one of the huts. Oh, awesome. Uh, you guys don't need to roll, but you notice there ain't nobody moving around in here. Hmm. Okay. Uh, any other signs like uh, like a fire or anything like that? Or uh, There are fish on a line. There is laundry on a line. Uh, you notice a tributary runs north, probably towards the river. Uh, and you can make out about 10 buildings. Okay. They all uh, look like your homeland buildings, not mm-hmm. like Crendor's people. Okay. I'm going to circle around and kind of take a look-see. Look, so like shitholes? I'm going to yeah, flatter right in the middle of town. Ste- stealthily. <laughs> I'll take a stealth check from Crow. Okay. Uh, Coda and Cup, what are you guys doing? I'll be making enough noise that it won't matter. Uh, 20, not natural. <laughs> we're, we're strolling right in the middle of town. Okay. Uh, Coda and Cup are in the center of town. Crendor, what are you doing? Boy, hello! Hello! Cheskin's blessings on you all! I'm, like, shaking my head. Oh, wow. I'm okay. just skulking along. Okay. With Crow or with Coda and Cup? Uh, with Crow. Okay. Uh, give me your stealth check. Clang, bang, bang, clang. Oh, it's not going to be good. Four. <laughs> <laughs> you pay no attention to where you're going and you kick uh, some pottery off a fire. Oh. Was there a child involved? Nope. The hot foot costs you two hit points, though. Uh, Eliminating eliminating all of Crow's stealth ability. Uh, It's just like, Uh, well, we're here now. (laughs) As uh, the airport clerics wander into the center of town, screeching out, giving out flowers, you notice that uh, there's just nobody here. Hmm. The fish are a little bit spoiled. Maybe a day or two they've been uh, hanging. They've gathered flies, more protein. Mm. Uh, the, the laundry is dry, so that's a plus. Um, like, you know, twitch aside the cloth on one of the hut doors and peer inside. Uh, which building? Go ahead and roll a d10. Perv. And I will cast light on the head of my mace and use that to open it so that it shines a light into the interior of the hut. That's a nine. Wow. Uh, nothing in hut number nine. Oh, Coda? nothing in this one. Uh, I'll look in the biggest hut. See if anyone's in there. Uh, they're all about the same, but uh, three seems to be a little bit bigger. Uh, there is a dead body in there. Uh, can I see how long it's been dead? Or at least trying to discern how long it's been dead? Medicine check. Who are 
you. <laughs> Put on your it, tank top. <laughs> it seems like he. It seems like this guy ran out of time. Wow! Oh, yeah. CSI Toad Town. Uh, CSI Toad Town. Oh yeah. my God! It's awesome. like somebody washed away no his life force. Yeah. <laughs> dun, dun. Uh, seems like the blessings of Cheskin weren't upon him. Wow! Um, okay, that's a 21 for medicine. I've been dead about a day. Uh, you also notice that he has uh, one of those necklaces. Mm. It seems he can't survive. Mm. Blessings of whoever upon you. I think at first he was afraid. <laughs> and now being dead he is petrified uh, Crow and Crendor your cover's blown yeah okay. uh, oi everyone's dead <laughs> finds one person everybody's dead, everybody's dead. Gonna... wow Mr. Sensitivity <laughs> keep checking huts yeah. okay. hey it's yeah. only been two days since my entire village was massacred I'm really not right Crow, uh, you're up next. Are you going to have me roll a percentage for something? Come on. To be fair, our village kind of sucked, and the people weren't really all that nice. Uh, Crow, Crow will check out the, the hut that's nearest him, because I guess we came in in like a different direction. That would be number four? Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Crendor. Yes? What would you like to do? Oh, by the way, the uh, pock marks on you and Crow are starting to blend back into your flesh. Um, hey, at least you got huts to stay in tonight. Yeah. I'm Ooh. hungry. Is there anything to eat around here? We have a lot of snake meat. A lot of snake meat, a lot of fish and flies. The, the, the fish don't look so good. But is the snake... I mean, do we have a fire to cook it over? Yeah, you can fire. Just stood in one. <laughs> you can start yeah. a fire if you the want one to you the one them. you kicked the pot oh, out that's of. That's right. Okay, I could, I I want to check your some... foot. <laughs> the, the snake meat's all been purified. I want to eat some snake. I'm hungry. Okay, uh, you can go ahead and start your fire. Uh, back up to Brother Cup. I'm just gonna look in the next hut. Eight. And, and so on and so forth, and 10. Okay. Neither one of those have shit in them. Coda. Uh, okay, so he's been dead at least a day. Um, yeah, How was he killed, Coda? Come on. Yeah, I want the, is he got like a, is, it is there a giant axe in the back of his head? Like, has he got any cut marks or any bludgeon wounds or anything? He has a slash marks similar to those of every single one attached to a tree. Okay. So they're doing it to themselves. I come back at yeah, I come this, back this at, is that's the what I think. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a barbarian, I don't know. Uh it looks like this guy died this is the a same lot way. Of You're a barbarian on. with ritual scarification as well. I mean This guy died the same way the other people who are on trees died. So I'm thinking somebody's chasing after these people. It's because they're all idiots. They're all the same idiots. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Uh, tomato, tomato. Uh, so they're all somebody. I'm hoping, you know, who the fuck are these people? That's the big thing. Yeah. Uh, idiots? Honestly, well, you can say that about a lot of that, people. But... That, old, that old woman said we were on Murga land still. Maybe we're still on Murga land and these are another tribe. I mean, they look... Like Murga. Maybe yeah, it's a suicide different. pact for the Murga. A little different, but. <laughs> Are we sure this place isn't called Waco? <laughs> <laughs> Is there Kool Aid uh, here? Or I'm going to say, I Waco think that's on the. Wanko. <laughs> I think that's I think on the. Waco River, here. not the. Wanko River. I'll check another. I'll check another hut to see if anything's gone. And we look over the archway. It says Heaven's Gate. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh, Four's already been checked. Nine's been checked. Yeah. Are there lots of white tennis shoes? Six. Uh, another dead body, Coda. Killed the same way. Yep. Don't hang around Coda, man. He seems just to bite down. <laughs> yes. This seems, one would be a female. Yes. Uh, yeah. Oh. Seems this one. Uh, was part of a slasher. This is my picture, boy. Oh, uh, he, goes, 
he uh, he's like, this one's all the same. Slashes Wait. all across like the other one. Um, is there any uh, any any in either of the buildings? Was there any like writing or any anything that maybe there is no writing there? whatsoever anywhere. No hmm. writing materials. No writing utensils. Even pictures on the wall, like the kind of uh, like pictographish. Jello, nope. Jello pudding. Hmm. Bill Cosby. I'm gonna I'm gonna search through this hut where the person will see if maybe if they maybe hid some writing or or like pictures something like that that would kind of tell their who they may be or a little history on investigation yeah yeah he's, he's gonna toss the place <laughs> well yeah he's Natural gone funny. he's gone from CSI to 70s cop movie yeah in, yeah. in New well, York well we're here yeah. we might as well. Search everything. Uh, you find a Another hut. of food, uh, fruits, and vegetables. Another hut. Another uh, dead girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this case is getting meatier every day. <laughs> I'm retiring. <laughs> um, I retire in two days, yeah. but I want to solve this. <laughs> solve this damn case. Who's killing all these people? <laughs> What's their connection? You, you find oh. fruits and vegetables that are still ripe, so that's a plus. Well, that's okay. just gross. No, no food, though. Or no uh, uh, writing. No writing, no pictures. Uh, I'll take the uh, I'll take the fruits and vegetables. Um, mm -hmm. I'll, We're going to uh, have a good feast tonight. I'll bring it out to Cup. And be like, hey, hey, Cup, I found all, all these fruits and veggies. Aww. Could you purify this just in case? Because, I mean, they could be uh, the food may be part of it. Yeah, they, they may have gotten, uh, now that yeah. you figured out where I'm at. Yeah, well, it, we should check it, at least purify it, so that way we don't get, if they were poisoned. Nice. Half worms. Uh, yeah. Crow, you're up next. Uh, is there another hut that we haven't checked? Four huts you haven't checked. Okay, I'll go to the next one. Number two. Nothing. Okay. Uh, Krendor. Yes. Uh, you have, uh, you have successfully started a fire. Uh, Brother Cup has the snake meat. You have the snake hide, and Coda has announced that he has found kale. You? <laughs> well, Good I want to eat the snake meat. Kale and blue Java. Mm. Yes, I'm crossing over it. Blue bananas. Oh no. <laughs> okay, blue Java would be like Blue Mountain Coffee, which would be really good, which would be from Cacophony. Not the same thing. <laughs> this tastes like vanilla. Mm. Vanilla mm. ice cream. Mm. No, no, no. <laughs> Boy, try the banana! Not kinky enough for me. Oh, I just sit down. <laughs> I'm tired. Uh, cup, there are Three buildings that haven't been checked. I'm yet. gonna check them all. Well, as long as I've got light on that maze, might as well. Uh, you enter hut number one. Give me a perception check. Uh, fifteen plus five, twenty. There's something moving under the floor. Oh. Well, that's not good. Well, sometimes people put things in holes in the floor. You can, you can see a definitive outline of uh, Scooby-Doo's trap door. No, no, oh. that's not right. Oh, well, I will just open that right up. As you open it up, you look down and you see somebody holding a hand crossbow pointed <laughs> directly at your face. Hello, but, don't shoot. I'm here to you, help. <laughs> I'm the government. Give me a perception check. <laughs> <laughs> you must be the government people. Hello. Uh, 19 plus position? 5, 24. I'm here with water. <laughs> Is this the super dome? <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm only a little late. Uh, uh, it looks like a juvenile male. Good job, me. Brownie. <laughs> don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. We're here to help. We've got lots of food. Come on out. Everything's okay. Persuade me, stranger, offering me food. <laughs> I'm you a priest like of Cheskin. 
Oh, even oh worse. Oh my god, you're a priest. That's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. I've got some sacrilegious wine here. <laughs> he's, he's gonna shoot some You're supposed to wait till later. <laughs> The cassocks make me go into Persuade a you. Uh, that would be plus four is uh, 16. <laughs> 15. Uh, Just barely persuade you. This individual speaks in a similar dialect to you, but oh. a little bit off. So you can communicate. Uh, the individual asks... Who are y'all? Y'all got to get up out the hole. You guys went south. Toad Town. <laughs> we did go south. <laughs> I don't know I what we... Toad Town is. Who uh, are you? It, what are you doing here? Why'd you kill my parents? Well, we certainly didn't kill your parents. We came upon many people like you tied to trees on our way here. They were all deceased, unfortunately. And then we arrived here and found a few people dead in other huts. And then I came in here and saw a trapdoor, opened the trapdoor, and there you were shooting at me with a crossbow. I hope not. What's deceased? Are you the man dead, of Orion? Dead, young man. Dead. Were my parents part of them? Um, I'm not certain. I don't Please. know what your parents look like. They look like me. Well, so does everyone else around here to a certain degree. Well, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Bama. As a barbarian. Roll tide. <laughs> Just okay, come right on up out of that hole. Let's move on. Uh, persuade him to come out of the hole. That's only going to be a 15. Uh, that ties. Give me a good reason to come out. Well, you can come out and have excellent food and company, or you can stay in the hole by yourself. I'll close the door, walk away, and... Uh-oh. And you can poo in there. Of course, everybody around eat. here is dead, so when we leave, you'd be entirely alone. Well, will you go save the rest of my the people from my town? If they're in trouble, of course I'll help. You're going to need help. I have friends. Persuasion. I know nobody Jeez. believes they're my friends. 19 plus uh, 423. You have friends? <laughs> I do. I know it's it's rather amazing. I'm not so wonderful myself, but they are. They're great. Step back. I'm coming out. Of course. Uh, this lanky teenage kid, a little bit awkward, uh, never uh, puts down the hand crossbow. As he gets out, 18. He pops out, uh, tells you, no funny business. <laughs> uh, show me your friends. Indeed not. Well, come this way. We'll meet Crindor. She's cooking some food. Are you from London? <laughs> London. Never What's heard of London. London. <laughs> Londinium. That's right. Uh, You're the one he, that started out with Oi. He gets out, uh, sees Coda and Crendor uh, getting the food ready. Uh, does not see Crow. Um, it's kind of curious. Uh, nobody's wearing any of the necklaces, right? Uh -uh. Okay. Uh, he comes out and grudgingly takes some food while darting his eyes about uh still trying to size you guys up anybody want to say anything to him so oh, oh here it comes <laughs> have you cried recently <laughs> we had a play it was called rudy and i shamelessly admit that i cried at rudy <laughs> <laughs> that's so not small. good enough <laughs> I go back to my business. Oi. I'm uh, scaring children. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oi. Um, what's your name? Yeah. Uh, my name is... Steve. Oh, Coda, you're so wonderful to remember these things. Uh, that's why I write it down. I actually wrote this shit uh, this week. So you'd think I'd remember. Oh, the boy is Edu. 
Uh, like Mama Edu? Kind of. Edu on Coda. Uh, that's Cup. This is Cup. Crows around here somewhere. It's Crendor. Um, so what were you doing in the uh, in the cellar? This is where I live. Oh no! What were you doing in the cellar? I was told to hide. From what? Uh, the frog people. Ah. Oh. So is it the so the grung or all the way out here calls an epic? Yeah. I don't know who the grung are. They're the frog people. The frog oh. people were out here causing havoc in your village? Yes. Was that a day ago or two? I think so. Uh. Are you sure? You, but you're not sure it was the frog people, right? It's uh, been two moons, many pass. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all. Nice. The moon is full. Wow. I'm going to swim across the river. Oh. He's either going to be American Indian or redneck. So. Yeah. All right. He's a, he's so. a redneck American. He's a Sem or, uh, Seminole. <laughs> wow. I was just thinking Billy Jack. I apologize or something for the like Native that. American culture. Yes. I'm going to uh, take gonna get this some... foot and hit that side of your face. <laughs> hey. My Chata cousins can also follow that ball. <laughs> All right. So. The grung came. Is there any reason they would? Uh, do they? Do they ever in the past strangle people up in trees? This is the first time I've ever seen them, and I can only see them hiding underneath the floorboards as they took my people away. But they uh, were definitely frogs. No, it's not the frogs. This is. It, the, someone may have said it was the frogs, but the grung aren't that vicious because we didn't see that in our village people were slashed up in a similar fashion were they yeah they were mm -hmm. oh maybe it was a grunt we didn't find any people that? tied in trees but that's did not no you did not because you guys defeated the grung attackers at your place oh uh, that's this, cool. yeah this place uh, not so lucky these guys are vicious that's me he do will tell you that we need uh, to take it to these grung after the attack one party went east and the main body with most of his uh, clans people or tribes people or village people, the uh, uh, motorcycle cop, the construction. I was going to say, I was waiting. Uh, <laughs> and then all. Uh, went north. So he wants you to go free his people that went north. He doesn't know where the people went. I think the, the people that went north might be the people we've run across as we've been coming through. <coughs> Uh, about how many people were there that went to the north? My people? Yeah. 25-ish. Uh, All wow. right. That's, well, that's because a lot. We've, we've come from, because we're from the north, right? We came from the north. You're Yankees. Yeah. We've, <laughs> we've ran into several people who have been hung up in trees across the way. Um, this is weird. Hmm. It is calamity. Yeah. I wonder. Hmm. Uh, did you have people out and about, like when a crow comes emerging from the shadows? <laughs> wow. Jesus Christ! <laughs> well, it's in okay. Morning, uh, after we've eaten and rested. Did oh, did you? Crow. <laughs> did yeah. Boy, crow. Uh, hello. <laughs> Uh, do do you people venture out towards? The what do you east? mean, you people? <laughs> it's exactly what he meant, you son of a bitch. <laughs> That's it. I meant it. I meant it all. <laughs> I said it, and I meant it, and I'm standing by it. Yeah. Well, y'all just shut the fuck up and listen to someone, would you? Is it short people. <laughs> Honestly, I have no problem killing a teenager. No. <laughs> So, so what about his people? <laughs> uh, do they venture towards the east <laughs> from where we came from, uh, like scouts or anything like that? Because it seems like the bodies were probably used as markers or whatever to guide them to the village. Kind of seemed like. Well, so, 
some some of my people uh, were warriors, and I'm sure they didn't go along peacefully. Yes. Well, um, they weren't very good warriors. Right. Ouch. So, so they probably met saying. the grunt grunt scouts. The grunt scouts killed them, tied them to the trees, and the rest of the war party followed. Hmm. Crendor, do you want to ask him if his parents look like this? <laughs> <laughs> is this your mom? Uh, she was taller. Is well, that your mom? Did your parents go with the party? Which party did they go with? I am a barbarian. I don't give a shit. It's true. North. They went north. All right. So they're probably alive. We haven't ran into anybody, any parties uh-huh. on our travels. So either they've gone past us. Which is weird. Or, or they're dead already. Yeah, well, that's yeah. possible. They might be dead already. <laughs> um, Got cold. Yeah. Grum chow. You should probably eat some. You're probably starving. You guys going to rest here for the night? Hell yeah. Good idea. Yeah. And that brings us to the end of the session for Calamity, the B side. Coda, nice. uh, AK, Jesse, what'd you think? It's good. I'm trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Yeah, grown or vicious, vicious as grown. Both yeah. both calamities are. Where the fuck is going? Yeah. What? Um, what? Both calamities want to be smashing grown. Yeah. Uh, David, much. aka Crow, what'd you think? I thought it was good. I think we got another catchphrase. Ci CSI Toad Town. <laughs> so, Toad Town. That's gonna be a thing now. So previously on CSI Toad Town. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brother Cup, aka Rob. Another dead thing. body. Another dead body. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get him this time. Death comes to the city again. <laughs> I was Australian when I started this. <laughs> it's okay, you'll be telling Savalas next time. <laughs> it's those uh, menthols, man. <laughs> where's the lollipop? It's a blast. I mean, you know, Scott needs to go on vacation more often or something. You know, whatever. <laughs> Anniversaries, now known as vacations. <laughs> <That's exactly. laughs> well, but Easter, it, anniversary, whatever he calls it. Depends them. on if you have a significant other. That's true. Well, Personal I mean, he, time off. I noticed he didn't give a shit when his kid went to prom. No. Okay. So there's, there, there's the there is, marker. There is there. a line. That's right. Who has Harry the vagina? We don't know how the prom date went. Well, yeah. <laughs> I was about, about to say. <laughs> Harry, what'd you think? It was good. I'm confused. Hey. I don't know what I'm doing. That's that's why I do calamity to confuse the shit out of you guys. He folks. plants it that way. You're with all of us, Carrie. Okay? You're with all of us. This has been Murder Hobo Inc. The Calamity Edition B side. Uh, follow us on Twitter. Follow us. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. Uh, if you want to shoot the shit uh, with us about D and D, join our Discord. If you want to buy our cool crap, uh, it's down there. Tiny URL. Dot, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, uh, if, you, if you want to buy our shit, slash RPG swag. There you go. Oh, <clears throat> thank you to Pirate Dog Dice for dice that didn't suck, and of course, uh, Adventure Sense. Uh, even if your DM stinks, uh, the Adventure Sense will go ahead and make it uh, plausible deniability to play this game. Most importantly, if you want to join us on Tuesday for the talk show or next Saturday for the one shot, M Hobo Inc. Twitter or Gmail, hit us up, let us know. Uh, limited seating available, two of them are already spoken for. Uh, so that's right, we're getting more popular for some that's it. reason. Dave, hey, it wasn't even you and me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. At, or Carol. So, you know, too. Uh, but, folks, uh, thank you for watching. We hope uh, the rest of your weekend goes well. If you're bored tomorrow, check out the Margu campaign where the Blue Java mess really. Yeah, happens. find <laughs> out about the Blue Java. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Blue Java moment was priceless. Folks, uh, thanks. Thanks for watching. Uh, give us a shout. Come on in and play. We'll, uh, we'll entertain you. Everybody, dating game, uh, kiss and wave. Uh, Take us home.